Hey, what's up guys? This is Phil Ebener with VideoSchoolOnline.com back with another quick tutorial on creating vignettes in Final Cut Pro 7. So I already talked about in another video how you create a vignette using the vignette effect which is quick and easy but it might not be exactly what you're looking for in a vignette uh, because uh, maybe you want uh, something a little bit different and I have a great technique for you to show you today so be sure to check out videoschoolonline.com when you're done watching this video so in Final Cut Pro I have my image down here on my timeline of course this works for video as well go to your viewer screen which is usually in the middle of your standard setup go down to this little A drop down menu go down to shapes and select oval click this drag and drop it on top of your image or your video double click and that brings up the uh, spe this specific oval into your viewer tab uh, viewer box go to controls or uh, controls first you're going to want to change the composite mode of this this layer by right clicking going to composite mode and going to multiply this basically get rid of any of the white on uh, in this in this oval and it creates this you know rectangle or cer oval shaped uh, circle um, with the black edge. And this is ba the basic vignette right here. And now you just play with with the different size and softness options. So increase the size, increase the softness, and just play around with it until you have a nice vignette. You can change the aspect to make it you know more or less oval. You can even change the color of it if you want. And that will, you know, change the color of the uh, the oval itself. So you want to keep it at white because the multiply is uh, making this a vignette. Uh, of course, if you want something a cool effect like that, you can do the red or or some other color. <laughs> But that is the basic way to create a nice vignette. You can uh, view this by clicking this uh, film button over here. You can take it on and off. And this will help you see you know, exactly where, what settings you should have. Um, like I just did that, and I want to increase the size. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. The vignette really adds a lot to this image. It draws your attention to the cyclist in the center, and it just makes it a little bit more beautiful. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comments. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and check out videoschoolonline.com. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.